please be seated. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to welcome you all to the University of Manchester and the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony, for your graduation ceremony. Um, for all of the work that you've put in over these past years, your intellectual and academic work, and, um, and not forgetting that you've spoken to your loved ones through uh, windows, reading their faces on the other side, reading how they feel on the other side. You've been calling home to see how people are. You've been calling your loved ones to see how they are. And they've been calling you to see how you are. And you've said probably that you're okay when you're not. And you've been asked, are you really okay? And you've said, I'm not. You've shed tears over this past few years. You as a generation have been through more to achieve your degree than any other generation in my lifetime and that makes you incredible. Well done, congratulations, each and every one of you for all of the work that you have put in every day over this past difficult time. You deserve this, every bit of it. And when you go out, out, after this, after you pick up that degree, after my three-hour conversation with you now, when you go out there, remember that it wasn't just your, your, your academic intelligence, your intellectual intelligence, it was your attention to well-being of yourselves and the ones around you. How you've balanced that. Ask yourself, who are my friends? That's what every student does ask that question. None have asked it with more meaning than you have. Who are my family? You are here, <laughs> you are here with your mothers and your fathers. They're in you, in your DNA, and their fathers, and their mothers, and their fathers, and their mothers, and their fathers, and their mothers, and they are all congratulating you for the hard work that you have done. I'm now going to move towards the left, slowly. If any of you have seen Family Guy, <laughs> this is that slow moment. <laughs> Congratulations, well done. Chancellor, colleagues, graduates, with families and friends, good morning. As the head of the School of Arts, Languages and Cultures, I'm absolutely delighted to congratulate those of you graduating today on your success in obtaining your degrees and to be able to do so back in the absolutely wonderful setting of Whitworth Hall after almost two years or more, more than two years of doing most things and at the, towards the end still many things online. Every colleague in the school is extremely proud of what you've achieved in such unusual and uniquely challenging times. We do hope that you found your time here intellectually and academically stimulating, because whatever else studying for a, de for a degree gives you, the experience should have been one where you found yourself both challenged and inspired. I want to express my huge gratitude to colleagues in the departments for having, you, having provided you with that experience. For many of you, I have no doubt it will have transformed your lives, although you may not quite know that yet. I therefore ask you to all to join me in thanking the teaching and support staff for all their efforts and dedication during your time with us.
Graduates at this ceremony have all completed a degree that is in some respects connected to the study of language. So what unites you all is an interest in the different cultures and languages of this world and the way in which these shape people's view of that world. To try to impress upon us how important language studies is, stop for a moment and think about what humans could have achieved if they not have had language. But of course, it is not even clear how we would even be able to think without language. Language is central to what it means to be human. There is then no doubt that the degree programs you have studied are of phenomenal value to the world at large. For Manchester in particular, this is highlighted by the growth of the area of translation studies and intercultural communication, which puts a core emphasis on engaging with our fellow human beings across linguistics and, uh, linguistic and cultural boundaries. And it attracts students from across the globe. And last but not least, language research in Manchester has been ranked ninth in the, world, uh, in the UK in the 2021 Research Excellence Framework. So uh, this means that language research is as world leading at Manchester as is teaching and engagement. Whatever aspects of the arts and humanities you have studied, what arguably unites you is an interest in what makes us human, the creation of identity. Many of the degree programs you have studied examine the most controversial and exciting topics of the time, such as inequalities and the relationship between the local and the global. They signal the university's commitment to exploring the grand challenges of the day and they ensure that you will be ready to engage with others in a responsible, aware, and critical manner. This, incidentally, is also why we are wearing gowns today. Partly to honor an ancient tradition, no doubt, but also for an important symbolic reason, which has been articulated as clearly as possible by one of the most distinguished historians of the past century, Ernst Kantorowicz. Gowns, Kantorowicz pointed out, are worn by priests, judges, and professors because they symbolize their independence and their responsibility to uphold the truth. Kantorowicz, twice in exile, first from Nazi Germany and then from Berkeley, when the throes of McCarthyism he was required to sign an oath of loyalty, knew what he spoke of. The issues Kantorowicz faced not that many decades ago are still a source of anxiety to colleagues in many countries including in Europe this very day. Those of us who are fortunate enough not to face them in their daily lives are still concerned that universities in this and other countries are living in difficult times. As we congregate here to celebrate your achievement, we also reaffirm the importance of the university's mission and values. We believe deeply in the educational mission of the university. And I'm therefore pleased to confirm that the school will this year once again offer a £3,000 bursary to any student graduating from the university with a first class degree who registers on one of our postgraduate programs. But graduation is also a moment to celebrate individual distinguished achievement. Students this year have produced some absolutely outstanding work and I'm pleased to announce the following prizes. The University of Manchester Outstanding Achievement, Academic Achievement Award is awarded to Amima Hamid and Callum Hatton. <laughs> and the Linguistics and English Language Prize for Outstanding Academic Achievement is awarded to Rose Martin. In French, the Blakey Prize for Best Translation from French to English is awarded to Finn Daly. The Wadsworth Prize for Best Dissertation in French is awarded to Kate Ashcroft. The Wadsworth Prize for Best Overall Performance is awarded to Leila Grace Gain and Ella Ma Roberts. <laughs> the 
In German, the Arvid Johansson Prize for Highest Mark in Linguistics is awarded to Finn Daly. The Gunther Kloss Prize for Highest Mark in German Essay is awarded to Callum Hatton, second prize to Rebecca Phillips. In Italian, the Società Dante Alighieri Prize for Best Performance in Italian Language is awarded to Isabel Parry Jones and for Best Overall Performance in Italian Studies to Elena Jukes. In Spanish, Portuguese, and Latin American studies, the J.W. Rees Memorial Prize for Outstanding Performance for Highest Average in the Entire Degree is awarded to Callum Hatton and for Exceptional Performance in the Final Year to Henry Golton. The Portuguese Prize for First Class Language Mark and Highest Overall Year Average is awarded to Sophie Townend. The Instituto Cervantes Premio Hispanidad Prize is awarded to Henry Golton. In Russian studies, the William Mather Prize is awarded to Andrea Mariana Toryots. And the Nicholas Lazarev Memorial Prize is awarded to Mohammad Sardar. On a more practical note, the school's web and social media officer has asked me to remind you to use Salgrad and UM graduation to show us what you're up to today. And you can also follow UM Salk students for live tweets. And after the ceremony, I invite you all to join colleagues and your fellow graduates for a reception in the graduation marquee, which has cooled down a bit over the past few days, and which is situated opposite the Alan Gilbert Learning Commons, where refreshments will be served. As you receive your diploma, you enter a new phase of your relationship with the University of Manchester. We very much hope that you will continue to be an active part of the extended community of alumni and supporters, to nurture an interest in the life of the university and the students who fill in your steps, to take pride in the collective achievements of this great and noble institution. The loyalty, support, and goodwill of our students are the foundation of our future. Please keep in touch and visit when you're back in Manchester. We wholeheartedly wish you happiness and success in both life and work. Thank you. Chancellor of the Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, French Studies, Lucy Neat Ward.
and in Russian studies, Alessia Benedetti. And in Russian and East European studies, Anna Glu. And in Translation and Intercultural Studies, Jose Gustavo Gongora Golubenste. And for the degree of Master of Arts, Translation and Interpreting Studies, Matthew Gebet Sinar. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Arabic Studies with Honors, Francesca Calderelli. <laughs> Zainab Ahmed Goodyear. Dervla O'Driscoll Patton. <laughs> Jane Shaw. <laughs> and in Arabic and a modern European language with honors, Zofia Griff Lostovska. Alexandra Theodora Seda Naomovich. <laughs> Emily Powson. <laughs> Ikra Raya. And in Chinese studies with honors, Matilde Grace Gritzma. <laughs> Gabriel Edward Corder Marriage. And in Cultures and Societies and Businesses Management, with honors, Vilnius Pasca Visivis. <laughs> and in East Asian Studies, with honors, Don Bailey. <laughs> Isabel Fountain. Milado Hall. <laughs> Rachel Hindley. <laughs> Freya Martinson. Neve Rebecca Fenchur Fenchurch Matthews. <laughs> Ra
Rebecca Matthews. Isaac James Giles Scott. <laughs> Louis Slater. <laughs> De Xin Zhang. <laughs> and in East Asian Studies and Business and Management with honors, Eva Maria Maldonado Perez. Sorry. Thank you. And in English language and Japanese with honors, Lisa Chen. Yep. And in English literature and French with honors, Helia Esset. Vivian Zina McDonald. Lucy Ann Maycroft. And in English literature and German with honors, Amy Louise Carver. Cassia Anastasia Davies. And in English literature and a modern language French with honors, Dimitrio Christophe. And in English literature and a modern language German with honors, Olivia Grace Wading. <laughs> and in English literature and a modern language Spanish with honors, Gemma Brown. Olivia Ann Cockman. <laughs> Roisin McCall. Catherine Elizabeth Plaskett. And in French Studies with Honors, Matilda Dickens Williams. Emma Corlett.
And in French and Chinese with honors, Rose Margaret Fraser. Serena Vitale. And in French and East Asian Studies with honors, William Turner. And in French and German with honors, Abby Ball. Finn Daly. Sam Harvey Reams. And in French and Italian with honors, Brigitte Appiadarco. Leila Grace Gunn. Yes, yes, yes. Well done. Donia Hamani. <laughs> Elena Vittoria Jukes. And in French and Linguistics with honors, Rose Martin. And in French and Spanish with honors, Oluatobi Afiong Mariam Amba. Kate Neve Ashraf. <laughs> Amy Cartwright. Holly Deck. <laughs> Abby Francis. Henry Angus Golton. <laughs> Chloe Leanne Graham. <laughs> Emma Nicole Healy Smith. <laughs> Anna East Houston Bell. Glenn John O'Carolan. Laura Pereira.
Lauren Amy Poole. <laughs> Daniel Smith. <laughs> Sophie Elizabeth Wignall. And in German and Chinese, with honors, Yulia Wanda Jeba. <laughs> and in German and Spanish, with honors, Emma Alexandra Goodbody. Also graduating with an Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Callum Hatton. <laughs> Kiara Mary McGreary. And in History and American Studies with Honors, Moses Thomas Johnson. And in Italian and Spanish with Honors, Natasha Brown. Arabella Manson. Isabel Julia Shanta Perry Jones. Rain Darcy Pittman. Harry James Tomlinson. <laughs> and in Japanese studies with honors, James Banbridge. <laughs> Alice Mary De Winter. Nicole Higginson. <laughs> Sun Kyo Lung. <laughs> Lana Lomax. Denny Minsayev. <laughs> Michael Reed.
Luke Reville. Chairman Shields. <laughs> William Ann Hoato. <laughs> Yuan Chen Yao. And in Japanese with linguistics, with honors, Lisa Michelle Carter. And in linguistics and Arabic with honors, Jamila Zaina Hamzawi. And in linguistics and Chinese with honors, Ing Clark. <laughs> Tristan Jamie Miller. And in linguistics and Japanese with honors, George Oliver Stewart Fagg. <laughs> Nazish Talati. And in linguistics and Spanish with honors, Ryan William O'Sullivan. <laughs> Bethany Smith. And in Middle Eastern Studies with Honors, Hana Khan. <laughs> Saqib Mahmoud. And in Middle Eastern Studies with French with honors, Hannah Wellock. <laughs> and, and in Modern Language and Business and Management, Arabic with honors, Rafael Fashat Azma. Mohammed Faizan.
Also graduating with an Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Amina Sabir Hamid. Mohiba Mehdi. Haider Mustafa. Alexander Sartori. And in modern language and business and management, Chinese with honors, Jolie Nabello. <laughs> Victoria Baralova. <laughs> Cyprian Drescher. Lawrence Adrian Yassine Edwards. <laughs> Riley Garrett. Amelia Pansi Lokshi Le Capitan. <laughs> Thomas Ray. Tabitha Renfrew Knight. <laughs> Max Smith. <laughs> Jordan Wu. And in modern language and business management French with honors, Agnesia Michelina Shishelka. <laughs> Florence Cooper Smith. <laughs> Sadie Rebecca Cox. Isabella Maria del Carmen. <laughs> Sophia Dolben Mantilla. <laughs> Karen Jiashi Guan. Isabel Celia Hurtado Crespo. <laughs> Eugenia Christina Jin. <laughs> Elizabeth Diana Lethbridge. Anastasia McIntyre.
<laughs> Alexandra Manger. Carlos Tirado Gutierrez. And in modern language and business and management, German with honors, Matilda Rose Bernard. Katie Olivia Bold. Aileen Ardogan. Rebecca Phillips. Veronica Veronska. Henry Xiao. And in modern language and business and management, Italian with honors, Andrea Langvarska. And in modern language and business and management, Japanese with honors, Zachariah Ajaz. <laughs> Katie Lee. And in modern language and business and management, Russian with honors, Anna Ignatieva. <laughs> Anna Marinina. Karina Markevica. <laughs> Diodora Markovic. Ben Alexander Mason. <laughs> Alexander Barry McColgan. <laughs> Diana Miebrishvili. Andrea Mariana Toriotz. <laughs> and in modern language and business and management Spanish with honors, Cassia Adams Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Harris Afta.
Georgina Allet. Lee Atfield. Tristan Diaz. Jasmine Emson. James Hammond. Anna Maria Hume. Sophie Johns. Georgina Nicola Knowles. Jeremy Levy. Kaman Lee. <laughs> Rosie Newton. Simran Vyom Ashokumar Patel. <laughs> Timothy Quantel. At our shop. <laughs> Natasha Rose Taylor. <laughs> Tobias Wilkinson. Jacob Wood. And in politics and cultures and societies, with honors, Eleanor Pridding. And in politics and Italian with honors, Liam Daniger. <laughs> and in Russian studies with honors, Mate Strummer. <laughs> and in Spanish and Chinese with honors, Robin Cooper. Lydia Hanahal. <laughs> Amelia Rigby.
and in Spanish and East Asian Studies with honors, Alexander Dinesh. And in Spanish and Japanese with honors, Lucy Louise Mary Griffiths. Amy Newstead. And in Spanish and Portuguese with honors, Finley Xavier Battle. James Granger. Lydia Louise May. Sophie Townend. Eve Elizabeth Welch. And in Spanish, Portuguese, and Latin American studies with honors, Iago Heming. <laughs> Izzy Podro. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Modern Language and Business and Management Chinese with honors, Ud Onovolo Raihahona. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Modern Language and Business and Management Spanish with honors, Imogen Helen Jagger. And for the award of postgraduate diploma in translation and interpreting studies, Alexander James Campbell Levesque. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in East Asian Studies with Classical Literature with honors, Rosanna Alexandra Paget. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Linguistics and Chinese with honors, Christina Gabrielle Liu. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Modern Language and Business Management Chinese with honors, Ellie Neat. Graduates, would you please stand and put the tassels on your, on your caps on the uh, left-hand side, please? So would you stand and put the tassels 
on the left hand side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So could all our guests and our supporters and family and us, could we please stand and join me in congratulating our graduates. On behalf of the university, I once again congratulate all of you, all of you who are graduating here today on your excellent achievements. And we wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. I now am supposed to declare this ceremony closed, but I would rather declare this ceremony Open!